Today we're discussing baking soda, what it is, how it helps your kidneys, if you should take it, and everything about baking soda. Thanks for watching. This is Healthy Kidney Inc., our channel here at YouTube. Check out our website, all our other videos about how to support good kidney health naturally with diet and anything that you can do in your power. So baking soda, what is it? Is it good for kidneys? So baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Now sodium bicarbonate baking soda, you often find it in powder form in supermarkets, you put it in your fridge to help deodorize it, but it is shown to have tremendous kidney benefits. Even shown um, to really get rid of, help neutralize a lot of the acid buildup. So the kidneys are responsible for the acid base balance, also called the acid alkaline balance. So they're always keeping these numbers, these ratios in range. And anytime you have any type of uh, poor kidney health, compromised kidney function, um, sluggish kidneys, and you want to support kidney health, you want to get rid of the acid, okay? Because that acid makes the kidney work harder. And if it has to work harder, it's working overdrive. You can think of it like your car, if you just ran that engine real hard, always was rough on that car, it's not gonna last long, okay? So kind of the same principle, your body, your kidneys always gotta keep taking care of that acid buildup on a consistent basis. If you have a bad diet, you even have more acid buildup. So sodium bicarbonate baking soda neutralizes the acid to help support good kidney health. So you can use baking soda if you like. Now, the problem with baking soda is it doesn't taste that great. Okay, it's not as pure as other forms of sodium bicarbonate that are meant to get ingested, but you can use it. And how much you use depends on uh, where your uh, current kidney health is, what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so always start small, okay, but you may need more, uh, but you don't want to take a lot. You don't want to go taking tablespoons and teaspoons and teaspoons and teaspoons. You could start out with a half teaspoon to one teaspoon. Now, the other option is to take baking soda or sodium bicarbonate pills. The pills are a better option, easier to take, they're more cleaner, they're purified, uh, they're free of toxins, which possibly may be in powder forms. Now, that has been the standard forever to support kidney health, is ideally you should use those uh, sodium bicarbonate pills. But the issue is, is that sometimes you need a lot of them to get the desired effect because sodium bicarbonate neutralizes stomach acid. So when that baking soda is neutralized by stomach acid, there's less there so that your kidneys will benefit. Now, you can uh, you have to take more, which is an issue. Now the sodium, the sodium part, everybody, a lot of people are afraid of sodium bicarbonate. They hear sodium. It's actually a very small amount of sodium. So it's not enough sodium there to really cause any issues with sodium salt retention. Uh, unless you got to take a lot of pills, which some people might need to take like six to nine pills of sodium bicarbonate to support good kidney health. Uh, that's, that's something you got to decide with uh, the people that are on your team to help your kidney health, your medical team. But if you're looking to support kidney health, the other option for baking soda is using a delayed release formula. So our company here at Healthy Kidney Inc. makes a delayed release formula of sodium bicarbonate called Kidney Restore. Now, this is our... Uh, top seller. It's done great things to help help support kidney health. We got over a thousand reviews on Amazon, which you can go check. Now this has a special uh, capsule, okay, that we're actually in a licensing deal with the company that allows it to be delayed release. So none of it gets neutralized by your stomach acid. So your body gets more of it, your kidneys get more of it to help support more better good kidney health. It also has probiotics to help support kidney health, little niacin, prebiotics to help the probiotics grow and help the uh, elimination of all those toxins, help support that elimination. So this is an option that if you want to try it, that if you're not looking to do uh, powder form or if you're looking not looking to do pill form. Now the other option is our sister company called uh, BioWisdom Nutraceuticals, used to be called Nature's Path, but we still have a product there called Bicar Boost, which is delayed release, the same technology but this is all 100% baking soda, sodium bicarbonate in a delayed release uh, capsule. So it's 650 milligrams, which is equivalent to one pill, except it's delayed release. It avoids a lot of the negative effects. One of the negative effects of baking soda is stomach upset, neutralizing stomach acid, which can affect the mineral uh, vitamin absorption. So stuff that you may want to avoid. So if you're looking to get a lot of, a lot of baking soda to help uh, support kidney health, Take a look at Bicar Boost. It's available on Amazon. You can also call us, order from our 
website at healthykidneyinc.com. But those are your options with baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and supporting good kidney health. Hope it makes sense, you understand it. If you got questions, drop them in the comment section because we usually get back to you within 48 hours. We'll put answers in the comment section. And to your best kidney health, and check out all of our other videos on baking soda and how it supports kidney health, all the diet things we have, good things so that you can have healthier kidneys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.